Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome to the final episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we arrived here in Hyrule Castle, we explored quite a bit, read some journals, did all sorts of stuff, and covered some secrets. Pretty much just, uh, we saw most of what the castle had to offer. But now that we've done all the stuff that I wanted to do here, we're gonna go fight our way through the castle one last time. And we're going to reach the top, and we're going to confront Ga Calamity again, and finally, this is it. The final episode, uh, <laughs> I don't really have much else to say, except we're just going to go for it. So let's go up here. We're going to go the intended path to take, straight up to the castle, uh, like to the top. Essentially, um, if you go along here, eventually you're going to come across these uh, gates of malice, or whatever you want to call them. So you gotta find a way to get through here. I actually can't see where the eyeball is. I don't know, maybe I'll just jump over it. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, I couldn't find... Never mind. Oh, it's right there, but never mind. Uh, let's go up here, and there's gonna be a guardian up there, so watch out. I'm gonna try to parry his laser back at it. That did not work, but at least we didn't take a lot of damage from it. Um, we go up here... Then here we're going to reach the gatehouse, so we are kind of uh, in a difficult situation here. Uh, just just run for it. Ow. Inside this room, I think I've shown this already, but we're about to get attacked by a lionel, so this is what we got to deal with here. Um, our final challenge is to fight all these lionels. So let's not die. Wow, that was very close. I was like inches away from dying there. Um, I don't really, I should probably heal. <laughs> I don't want to risk dying right now. Uh, what if I ate this? Get a, a good attack buff going. Should be enough to take this guy out pretty fast. I want to save the Master Sword for the boss. So, I'm going to have to make do with all my other weapons for this right now. Okay. There we go. Is he about to start? Uh, yes he is. Okay. Just run for it. Ooh. Ow. I shouldn't have done that. I should have run in the opposite direction. Also, there's going to be all these cursed uh, moblins that try to jump at us, so watch out for them. They're not much of a threat, though, of course, because they're just little skulls that don't do anything. Okay. Here we go. I should. You know, I'm going to switch to a one handed weapon because I have to admit that fighting Lynels with two handed weapons is kind of annoying at times. Oh, whoa. Oh, mount him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And shoot him a couple times in the back of the head. I don't know how that works. He doesn't instantly die, but I'm not judging it. I mean, Link can do the same. He can take a couple headshots and somehow survive. It's video game logic. Who cares? Okay. Ooh. I should try parrying him. Or he's going to do that. Okay. That's fine. Fine by me. And... Ooh. I should not have tried to tank that. You know what? Fine. Let's just finish him with the Master Sword. Only a couple hits. There we go. Moving on now. I should definitely heal again. <laughs> I am on the verge of dying. But going through here... We can then move on to the next gate post because there are multiple of them. We're gonna have to fight a bunch of Lionels, basically. That's how it works. Um, first, we gotta find the way forward, though. I still can't find the eyeball we have to shoot. Huh. It's kind of tricky because of just how much malice there is here. You know what? <laughs> Who cares? There is a reason why they added Rivaldi's gate. Oh, there it is. There's the eyeball. But it wasn't open in the first place. I mean, we can shoot it now, just because see it all disappear. Which is admittedly quite satisfying. Okay, into the next one. Watch out for the, the Guardians, of course. And I should definitely heal up. I'm gonna... Let's have these hard-boiled eggs, which we got last time that we came here. And I'll also eat... I'll also eat some fish. Just get us to that much health, probably, is a good idea. Okay, next up we gotta fight a... Oh boy, is that that's a Silver Lionel. 
Oh wait, no, that's not a silver lionel. I don't think so. Let me let me take a picture of it so I can find out. It is, yeah, it's a white main lionel, so it's not a silver one. Uh, although the silver one, it was confusing because the silver ones are also white, but I think that they have black mains, which is what separates them. Okay, I know I said that I wouldn't use the master sword, but hmm. you know what? I'll use the royal claymore. <laughs> I mean, it does plenty of damage, so I'm sure... Plus, with our attack buff right now, we'll get a ton of damage here. Okay, it's gonna start shooting fireballs at us. Watch out. Don't get stuck in the corner again. Ooh! That was a close one. Okay. Jump. Flurry rush. I feel like I should be parrying him more because it's... But, I mean, because I'm where I'm holding a two-handed weapon, it's a bit tricky to do that because I have to keep switching between my shield and my uh, sword. Plus, flurry rushes are just kind of more convenient, I guess. They're less fun to watch, but who cares. And... There we go. I know I'm going to try to shoot him in the head. Missed. Okay. Missed again. <laughs> Not doing too well here, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not dying. Ooh, we should run, we should run. Go for it. Ooh. Uh, that's a that's a damn dangerous move in this particular environment, because he uh, he is you don't have a lot of space to run. Thankfully, I guess they made it. I wonder if they designed it specifically for this room. Ooh, wonder if they designed it specifically for this room. Like they designed the radius in which it explodes based on the parameter of this room. Perimeter. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Mifa. I don't. I didn't know I had you activated, but okay. Uh, I guess I should probably turn that off because I said that I wanted to turn it off. Disable that. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Uh, this is bad. Okay. Uh, do I have any other fairies? I do. Okay. You know what? Ow, okay, this is not going well. He keeps doing that lunge attack. Yeah, seriously, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, fine. Eat our last thing here. And now he's gonna snipe me? Seriously? Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> we just got destroyed! That was embarrassing. Okay. Alright, this time I'm just gonna fight him with the Master Sword. Clearly... That is a better idea. So, let's fight him with that. And wow, using our Bosa's Fury really destroyed his health bar. Uh, okay, run. Run for it. Go, go, go. There we go. Yeah, I guess the attack buff right there gave us a huge head start. Cause we already almost destroyed him in the split the split second that we... <laughs> like, wow. We did all that damage in that short of a time. Okay. And this should finish him, really. There we go! Okay. <laughs> that was really easy. That was probably the most vicious destruction of a Lionel that I've ever seen. Well, actually, no, that is a huge lie. I've seen people on Twitter who destroy Lionels in like 12 seconds using crazy tactics and stuff. But still, that's a. That was a pretty uh, snazzy kill right there. Okay. Ancient arrows, I will definitely take those. In fact, you know what, I might cheat a little bit for the next one, because I... Ancient Arrow... I mean, if there is a next one, I'm not entirely sure if there is another Lionel that we have to fight next. Oh wow, the uh, Arbosis Fury that we used to uh, destroy that Lionel actually hit that Guardian right there. Uh, can I... Nope. Nope, never mind. Okay, up here. Let's see if there's any more Lionels we gotta fight. I don't think so, we're getting very close to the top now. I'm gonna try to parry your laser back at you. Ow. <laughs> God, every single time I screw it up. <laughs> God damn it. What is wrong with me? Can I just get it right once? <laughs> screw it. Okay, you know what? Fine. Um, I'll just block it or run underneath. Okay, that works too. Uh, ow. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is a really, really crazy part right here. It's like all these all these guardians are trying to kill you. Can I try to kill you? Nope. 
I cannot parry a single laser. I'm, I used to be so good at it. Like, I could do it pretty easily, but now... Now I suck at it. Um... Oh! I tried to do it, but I couldn't. Alright, this is just a big waste of all my shields. Um... <laughs> wow. This is really embarrassing. There we go! Ha! Ah, take that. Okay, up here. Alright, break one more shield while we're at it. Just gonna duck under here to get rid of that guy from targeting me. Okay, here we go. We finally made it. I'm just going to heal up because I am low on health. That was my last healing, uh, major healing item at least. Which is bad. Because I wanted to hold on to as many- Ow! Holy crap, can you guys just go away? Okay, we made it to the top. This is it. Um, once we step in there, there's no going back. We certainly got our asses beat on the way up here. <laughs> that was not how I wanted all that to go, but I'm not complaining. One last challenge. Might as well make it, make it count. Okay, um, I'm going to save that for the boss fight, the, the attack buff. In the meantime, just eat a bunch of apples. I don't know why we have stealth up, but who cares? Okay. Are you guys ready? Because I certainly am. This is it. Let's go. The Scourge of Hyrule Castle, Calamity Ganon. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge! This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail!
So here we go. As we can see, he's already down to half health. For each divine beast that you free, it'll take away one twenty-fifth, or no, I guess one-eighth of his health down to a total of half of his health. So, yeah, that's a pretty crazy reward, because now the, ha the fight is uh, half as difficult. He still has a lot of health, though, don't get me wrong. But it's definitely... If you choose not to do the Divine Beast, then this fight is a lot more difficult, because he has a lot more health. But, uh, yeah, so here we go. Calamity Ganon. He's an amalgamation of the other four Blights. Uh, so he has abilities that are similar to the other ones, uh, plus a few of his own. For one here, he's always going to be up on the wall. Um, if we can bring him down somehow. Oh yeah, there we go. He starts throwing his tornadoes out just like Windblight Ganon. He also was using those lasers just like Windblight, just like Windblight Ganon as well. Um, watch out. So, oh yeah, now he's going to start uh, shooting out these fireballs. Which just, oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a huge AoE attack. Uh, this fight is pretty cool, actually. I, 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 I enjoy this fight. Um, he's not that difficult, but he's still, he's still somewhat challenging. At least compared to most of the other bosses in this game. So, gotta watch out, of course. Um... Watch out for this. This is one of his unique moves, is that he has these weird scissor blade things. So, what even is this thing? Because this is supposed to be this game's version of Ganon, but he's like this weird spider um, guardian thing. When I first saw him, I was like, what the hell is that thing? Because <laughs> it's not at all what I expected Ganon would be like in this game. And it's certainly a crazy surprise to see it. I don't think that I was... I don't think that anything in the game surprised me quite as much as this. I was uh, quite taken aback when I saw it, but okay. So now he's going to use these ice blocks, just like Water Blight Ganon does. Obviously, we know the easy way to defeat those is to just use Cryonis. Um, unlike a lot of people that use arrows for some reason, I really, I still don't understand because I figured it out like immediately that you can use Cryonis, but a lot of people are just not not aware of that. Uh, anyways, so. We can get him down off the... There we go. <laughs> I was like, why can't he just come down off the wall for once? Oh, I tried to do a uh, flurry rush there, because that's a great a great way to do a lot of damage. Okay. Are you going to do any stomp attack or something? Nope. Okay. Shoot him a couple times with some bomb arrows. You can use ancient arrows for a lot of damage. Uh, that's something you should know. Also, one other thing I should mention, I didn't mention this before, but for every Divine Beast that you don't choose to do in, the, in a playthrough, you actually have to fight that, uh, the Blight of that particular Divine Beast before fighting Calamity Ganon. So, for example, if you don't do, uh, Thunder Blight Ganon, then you have to fight... Sorry, if you, if you don't do, uh, Vanna Boris, then you have to fight Thunder Blight Ganon before fighting Calamity Ganon. If you go straight from the Great Plateau to the to uh, Hyrule Castle, you have to fight all four of the Blights plus Calamity Ganon, and that is a crazy challenge to do. I have yet to complete that challenge, and I really want to do it someday because it's it looks crazy, especially because you have like nothing to fight with. You have like three hearts and no equipment or anything. Anyways, let's stop screwing around and actually fight him. We've almost gotten down to a quarter health. Ooh, block that. He keeps going up on the wall. Oh, wait, no. I was about to say, is he, go is he going up on the wall again? It's, uh... Oh, can I parry this back at him? Or not. <laughs> I I he kind of let go of that really early. I was expecting him to charge it up a bit more. Anyways, here we go. Now he's at a quarter health. So now he gets this sort of Daruk's Protection-like ability. So the only way to damage him now is to catch him off guard. If you parry him, then you can get a bunch of hits in. So basically, the only way to do damage to him is by parrying or flurry rushing. So keep that in mind. You can't just go willy-nilly attack him. Oh, there we go, got hit. Might want to heal up in a second. Um, I, I should do that right now, actually. Just eat some meat. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just stop in the middle of a duel to the death to eat some meat. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. There we go. See, yeah, it just deflects off of him. Also, if you uh, shooting him while he's on the wall, of course, does nothing. So, really, this is all just about baiting his attacks and then kind of not screw this out this time. There we go. 
Is he full? Oh, I was about to say, is he about to fall? Ugh. I'm really bad at parrying these lasers now. <laughs> I cannot do it for the life of me. I used to be, like, so good at it. Like, I could do it, like, all the time in my uh, original playthrough of the game, but I just can't do it now. I'm out of practice. Okay. We've almost got... Okay. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, kind of actually kicking my ass quite a bit. I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was prepared for this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Can we... Uh... Okay, that does nothing. Let's flurry rush him. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. This should almost take him down. Okay. We've almost got him. We're so close, man. All right. I tried. I tried to flurry rush there. Watch out. Stop running away from me. Fight me. What are you, scared? You have the Triforce of Power. Or does he? Actually, no, because Zelda has the entire Triforce in this game. So I guess Ganon doesn't even have it in this game. Alright. I guess that makes sense, because this isn't the same Ganon as the one in Ocarina of Time. He's dead in all the timelines now. Well, no, because Ganon is just Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time, but it, never mind. I don't know how anything works. <laughs> Alright, let's try to parry this. I screwed it up. <laughs> um, oh, oh, barely. Almost got it. Alright. One more cycle should do it. Uh, ideally, it should be a, a flurry rush, because then we'll get a ton of hits in. Come on. Oh, run. Run for it. There we go. So far, so good. Can you get off the wall for once? I just need to, I just need to do some damage to you. There we go. All right. Oh, here we go. There we go. We did it. All right. And he's dead. That's how I wanted to finish it, was with a parry. Was with, with a laser parry. But... Ganon was born out of the dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. The hatred and malice incarnate. Dark Beast Ganon. I entrust you with the Bow of Light, a powerful weapon in the face of evil. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power or all of your memories. But courage need not be removed. For it is never forgotten. 
All right, starting off right here, we can get the Bow of Light, as per Zelda series tradition. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light strong enough to oppose the calamity. So this is the last weapon we were missing, the Bow of Light. We have everything now. We have his, we have Link's iconic green tunic, the Master Sword, the Hylian Shield, and now this. So this fight, This fight is very easy, actually. Uh, all that you really have to do is just wait for Zelda to put these uh, glowing marks on Ganon's body, and then you just have to shoot them with the Bow of Light. Alternatively, you can use Ancient Arrows or Sword Beams from the Master Sword, but those are a bit less... Uh, oh, we act first of all, we have to actually switch to the Bow of Light. I should have... First time I did the game, I actually didn't remember to do that, and I was stuck for quite a while because I couldn't figure out why... Oh, come on. There we go. So that's all we have to do, basically. It's a very easy fight, but I think it's pretty epic, to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, I don't really treat this as a boss fight and more of just like a finish him kind of thing. I feel like the Calamity Ganon fight is the actual fight. This is just kind of like a grand finale kind of thing. Not to mention this epic music and atmosphere and everything. It's, it's fine as it is. I just don't treat it as a boss fight. <laughs> um... It's just a, it's a great way to end the game, though. Anyways, uh, here we go. Next up, these next marks on his body. One, two, and three. There we go. All right. He's almost dead already. Yes, it is working. Next up. Seriously, this music is amazing. <laughs> People say this game is a bad soundtrack. I don't. I just. I don't understand it, man. Okay, wait for the next marks to appear. I think that they're gonna appear underneath him, like on his belly. Just gotta wait for them, though. Zelda, anytime. All right. Yeah, he does do these big laser things, though. Watch out for those, of course. Okay. And one more. One more mark is all it's gonna. It's all it's gonna take to kill him. The Blood Moon is happening right now. This is pretty epic. So if you go over here, you gotta stand right in front of him. Link, look up there. The final point is up here. Just wait for it to open up. Shoot him in the eye. Or his brain eye. I don't know what it is, but we did it! And that is the true power of the Triforce.
We did it, guys. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought... No. I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask? Do you really remember me? And that is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, can't believe we're finally done, guys. That is a game that I love, and I have made that very clear <laughs> throughout this entire Let's Play. I have never stopped gushing about it, but I think I'm going to take a couple more minutes to continue doing that. This game uh, came out just a few years ago, and I think, I'm not gonna lie, this was the first game that I played that truly, um, I was truly hyped about, because I don't know how to describe it really, but for me, I, I've never really felt a game, like I've, I've never played a game that I've just been super excited about in my life besides this one. It's like, I, I mean, when I first played it, there had been no game ever that I had just been this excited to play. I waited and I waited years to play it because, I mean, it took a long time for them to make it. and. I'm so glad it did, because look what it, how it paid off. And I think that it might honestly be my favorite game of all time. I've never, I haven't really decided because I just, I, I don't know. I'm bad at deciding what my favorite game is. I, I am very conflicted on it because there are many times where I'll say that it's my favorite game of all time. There are other times where I'll say that there's other games that I like more. But one thing that I can always say is that it will be my favorite. It'll be one of my favorite games of all time. And it'll definitely be the one that I hold the closest to my heart and the one that I gush about the most and all that stuff. I think that it's a game that I'll come back to years in the future and I'll just still love it. It's going to be a game that I'll never get tired of. And uh, I can't say that about most games. There's a lot of games that after a while my feelings on them change or... There are times there are games that I still love years later, or the games that I used to hate and I love years later, or there's games that I used to love and hate years later. Uh, but this game, for me, it's a game that from the beginning until the end of time, I will love, and I really doubt that that'll ever change. Now, this let's play, like I said a few episodes ago, I tried. Uh, I I because I didn't initially want to let's play this game like straight away because I wanted to save it for farther down the road once I had played all the other three Zelda games and like I said I did change my mind on that. Do I regret that decision? Definitely not but I still am gonna play the other 3D Zelda games and here's another thing the sequel to this game is coming out who knows when that's happening and you may be wondering am I gonna let's play that? Well, hell yeah, I'm going to let's play the sequel. <laughs> Probably not immediately after it comes out, but I'm definitely going to play the sequel on my channel. I don't know, I don't know when, but it'll happen. And I'm so excited for that game. I don't know when it's going to come out, but whenever it does, it is 
It's gonna be... I'm gonna be hyped for it just as much as I was hyped for this game. And who knows, maybe it'll end up being even better than this game. It's hard to, it's hard to say. But, uh... And of course, there's gonna be bonus episodes for this game. Um, I don't know how many, but I know that I will be revisiting this game occasionally from time to time. I'm gonna do a series of bonus episodes going over some of the... Uh, so over some of the other stuff you can do in this game, some of the side content that I neglected, just stuff like that. I don't know how many bonus episodes I'll make, but it might be enough to fill up a mini Let's Play of sorts, but we'll see. However, so I'm going to go over everything for this game. Uh, how do I feel about the story? The story is probably the aspect of the game that I'm the most mixed on, because, it, but it's also the aspect of the game that I care the least about because I don't play this game for the story. I think that the story serves its purpose. It's not the best story, nor is it the um, the best in the series, or just the most interesting or anything. But I think it serves its purpose. But it's not the main attraction of the game. The game is clearly designed to be an open-world exploration game, so... I mean, in many ways, I just don't think that it matters if the story is all that great or not. Because it's not what I care about. But, um... The story is pretty okay. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think that it's the best a aspect of the game, but it's it's fine. Uh, the dungeon designs are pretty good. I like the Divine Beasts a lot. They're a good concept. I don't want them to replace standard dungeons, but I like them as it is, and I would like to see the concept revisited somehow and uh, expanded on. Um, the music, I mentioned that I love the music. I have no complaints about it. The world design is perfect, one of the greatest open worlds in any game ever. If It's probably my favorite. It's I, I never get tired of just how amazing the open world in this game is. It's so fun to explore, so fun to see everything. It's just, it, it's a game that I just love being in because it's a perfect mix of just beautiful, relaxing, and just epic. I, I don't know how to describe it besides that, but it's got one of the greatest open worlds I've ever seen. The gameplay is flawless. Like, there's still things in this game that people are discovering years later, and I think that that's not going to stop anytime soon. Every time I log on Twitter and I see somebody who's doing something I've never seen before in this game, it's like, how is it possible for gameplay to be this deep? Because there's just so much to do in this game, and there's so many things you can see. So many ways to screw with the physics engine. It's perfect. Um, but, yeah, I've said everything I will. But, uh... This game is just perfect. Now then. Here we finally get to hear the main theme of the game. <laughs> right here in the credits. Well, we did hear it at the very beginning of the game, but only a glimpse of it. Here we finally get to hear the actual main theme of the game. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this Let's Play. And I will probably look back on this Let's Play very fondly, because this is one of my favorite games ever. And doing a let's play of that game i wanted to show how passionate i am for it and i'm glad that i uh i did it because i had a lot of fun doing it and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well because that's what i'm here for i'm here for you guys to have fun and um yeah it's probably gonna be one of those let's plays that i'm going to look back very fondly on there's egi onuma love the man He's a... Uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> and, uh... There we go. Look at all these names. All these great people who helped make this game. And there's Iwata. Rest, rest in peace, man. I think this is the last game that actually featured his uh, credit. But, uh... Yeah. That's it. That's the end of Breath of the Wild. Join me back here next time for some bonus episodes. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what Let's Play I'm going to do next, but I'm excited for it. And I am probably going to take a break because, I mean, this Let's Play was pretty long. But when I come back, I am going to have something great for you guys. So I will see you guys later. Bye.
We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta looks like it stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> 